now. Yeah. So let's go to Evan Kosloff again in Baton Rouge. Hey there, everybody. Yes, it's uh, night and day. If you look at yesterday where we were pretty much dry today, it's a different story. We're uh, definitely feeling wet right now, uh, and there are a lot of gusts of winds uh, of wind right now. Of course, I'm in front of the Mississippi River right now, and we've been talking about how, of course, the big concern is the rain, uh, but also just the high river level. I'm going to try not to fall into the river, but as you can see, this is the Baton Rouge sign here uh, over my right shoulder. And at this point, almost all of it is just covered by the water. So the Mississippi River has, has been elevated elevated and because of that I'll walk on over here. This is the E right here. Usually we should be looking at a full E right now we're seeing just one little bar uh, and then if we pan over here to the left you'll see this sort of stairwell to nowhere um, where the, the river has been elevated and this didn't happen overnight obviously this has been going on for a while and locals have uh, we've seen quite a few of these locals coming here uh, just to take a look at this because it is and as I speak, you see that gust of wind coming right here. We've been dealing with this uh, throughout the day. And of course, there's the risk of it getting even worse. In fact, that's what the radar is suggesting. I spoke to Kirk here a moment ago. He said he'd speak with us. You, you, are, uh, you are from Baton Rouge, right? Definitely, native of Baton Rouge. What, what, what are your thoughts about looking out and just seeing how elevated it is? Uh, just seeing as high as it is, uh, like I said, been here all my life. So I had to come see for myself um, and expected rainfall. So it was kind of a, you know, a threat. I do have a business downtown also. So just had to come see for myself and see what the fuss was about. So man, but this is amazing. It's breathtaking to see what Mother Nature has done. And, and to talk about all the rain that we're getting and then more to the point what we're going to get, are, are you concerned? Yeah, I'm hearing overnight is gonna be the worst part. So hopefully, you know, it doesn't get too bad. So we've, every time it's rained bad lately, it's been flooding around here lately. So. Hopefully just things kind of pan out and, you know, kind of stay under wraps. You, you get any sandbags? Because I was over at one of the sandbag facilities and we saw hundreds of people coming through. Definitely helped out other people with sandbags. Personally, I didn't need any, but definitely shared and uh, passed out a bunch of sandbags yesterday and today, this morning. And I hear a lot of people here in Baton Rouge thinking about 2016, the flooding that happened here. Is that top of your mind here? It is. Hopefully the city is taking precautions to, you know, try to alleviate that. but. That's on everyone's mind around here, the 2016 flood. So like I said, hopefully overnight it doesn't get too bad. They're saying it's expected less than what they, you know, kind of projected. So hopefully that does help out. Yeah, we're, we're all hoping that there's going to be no flooding at all here in Baton Rouge. That, that's the hope. Um, and, and again, I, thank you, Kirk, for talking with us. Uh, like we were saying, the rain, the storm surge, and then also just the elevated water, uh, the elevated water. It doesn't matter where the water comes from. The water can cause some problems if it gets into your homes. And to talk about, Kirk was just talking about precautions. We, we did speak with the mayor uh, yesterday and she was over at one of the sandbag facilities saying that she believes that they've taken more precautions. People are aware now of the type of flooding that there, that could happen here. And so people are getting these sandbags. She said she was getting more prepared than she did last time. She was getting some sandbags. I, I just want to show the visuals one more time though, because it's pretty astonishing. Where, the, where this guy's standing over here, you're seeing the letters that usually spells, Actually, usually this spells out Baton Rouge, and right now you just uh, clearly can't see all of that. The, the river is at a really elevated level. People are coming to, to snap some photos. It's uh, pretty astonishing to see, but it also could be dangerous, and we're just hoping that there's not going to be any bad flooding. So, guys, I'll send it back to you. Oh, and actually, one last thing. If there is any flooding over there in New Orleans, we have the backup studio here in Baton Rouge where we're going to be ready. So we'll be able to stay on air no matter what. If there are any problems there, we'll be ready to go here. Um, yeah. Guys, send it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Evan. It looks like we're finally seeing some more tropical storm type conditions um, up in Baton Rouge uh, with those gusty winds and those yeah. sort of... Um, you know, strong wind winds. Well, I was trying to talk to Evan. Um, I was trying to tell him about the people that were there. I hope they told him to get away from the river because that goes over. If you've been in Baton Rouge, you know they have that iconic Baton Rouge sign that's right there along the uh, right there along the river, and it's already covering it. And and people are out down there. I mean, I don't know if Evan can hear us. Um, Evan, I don't know if you can hear me, but I know you talked to that young man that was out there. Are we seeing a lot of people uh, trying to get down closer and closer to the river? Um, I know that they want a lot of people to kind of maybe stay away from well, there. I'll tell you the difference. Uh, yesterday when we had, you may remember the beautiful sunset we had and there wasn't any rain. We had a bunch of families coming to take photos. Uh, we've had some people who've had a couple of adult beverages this time and not the gentleman we spoke with uh, just now. He was just here to take a photo. Uh, but basically the message is don't 
don't do this. You know, don't go and get near like uh, the rivers here. They are just extremely elevated. This is not uh, a normal level, clearly. I mean, the, the Baton Rouge sign is usually there and the, the stairwell shows it as well. Um, so yes, that message should be heeded by people. And again, as we're talking, another gust of wind coming through here. So we are starting to feel Barry's effects here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, hold on to your hat is a cliche for a reason, right? <laughs> Yeah, we, we see where that expression comes from. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> right. Well, thank you for holding on to your hat for us, Evan. We really appreciate the updates up from Baton Rouge, where, you know, it sounds like that storm may even have mm -hmm. a stronger impact up there than yeah. what we have seen in the metro area. But, you know, only time will tell. All right, everyone, be careful. It's 424.